In this tutorial, I'm going to use the Euclidean algorithm to find the greatest common divisor of 780 and 150. On the second question, I'll find the greatest common divisor of 1529 and 14,039. The Euclidean algorithm says that uh, the greatest common divisor of uh, two integers is the last non-zero remainder of successive division using the division algorithm. So for the division algorithm, if we have uh, b is equals to aq plus r, where b there is uh, the dividend, a is the divisor, q is the quotient, and r is the remainder. From that equation, we can get our remainder there is uh, b minus aq and the quotient is the flow value of b divided by a so looking at uh, question number one there where we have the greatest common divisor of 780 and 150 when you are given uh, such questions you take the larger number to be the b and then the smaller number to be the a so in this case our a will be a 150 our b will be the 780 our quotient Q is the flow value of 780 divided by 150, which gives us a 5. Our remainder, we say it is B minus AQ, which will give us 780 minus 150 times 5, which will give us a 30. So we are having the remainder there is a 30. And uh, using the division algorithm there, we are saying B is equal to AQ plus R. So we will have 780 is equal to 150 times 5 plus 30. We now go on and apply the division algorithm again, but now looking at the numbers, the 150 there and the 30. And again, the larger number, we take it to be the B, the smaller number to be the A. So we have our A is equal to 30, our B is equal to 150. Our Q, the quotient, is the flow value of 150 divided by 30, which gives us a 5. Our remainder is B minus AQ, which will give us 150 minus 30 times 5, which will give us a 0. And uh, using the division algorithm there, we are saying B is equal to AQ plus R. So we have 150 is equal to 30 times 5 plus uh, 0. So in this iteration of uh, the division algorithm, we are having a remainder of zero. So that's where we stop, where we have the remainder of zero. Then we look at the last non-zero remainder, the one before it, which was non-zero. The remainder which was non-zero there was a 30. So in this case, using the Euclidean algorithm, it says that uh, the last non-zero remainder is the greatest common divisor. So that last non-zero remainder there is giving us a 30. So we have the greatest common divisor of 780 and 150 is equal to a 30. So that's the greatest common divisor of uh, those two numbers. I will now move on to question number two, the greatest common divisor of 1529 and 14,039. So as I highlighted earlier, we said we take the larger number to be the B and the smaller number to be the A. So in this case, we'll be having our A is uh, 1529 and our B is uh, the 14,039. The Q is the flow value of 14,039 divided by 1529, which gives us a 9. Our remainder is B minus AQ, which gives us 14,039 minus 1529 times 9, which gives us 278. And using the division algorithm, we have the B there is equal to AQ plus R. So we would have 14,039 is equal to 1529 times 9 plus 278. We will now go on and use uh, the division algorithm again. Now on the numbers 1529 and uh, the 278 there. So we'll have uh, the smaller number will be the So our A is 278, the B is 1529. And then we go on and calculate our quotient. 
is the floor value of uh, 1529 divided by 278 which gives us a 5. Our remainder is B minus AQ which will give us 1529 minus 278 times 5 which gives us 139. And using uh, the diffusion algorithm there we have our B is equal to AQ plus R it will give us 1529 is equal to 278 times 5 plus 139. We go on and apply the division algorithm again, but now to the numbers 278 and 139. The smaller number will be our A, so will be our A is 139, our B is a 278. We now find our quotient is the flow value over the 278 divided by 139. That flow value is a 2. And then we go on to find the remainder, the B minus AQ, and it will give us the remainder is 278 minus 139 times 2, which gives us a 0. Using the division algorithm there, our B is equal to AQ plus R. We will deliver 278 is equal to 139 times 2 plus 0. We now have a remainder of 0, so that's where we stop. And then we look at the last non zero remainder. And the remainder which was not 0 before the one that we got a 0 there. And that remainder there is a 139. And the Euclidean algorithm says that this is uh, the greatest common divisor of those two numbers, the last non-zero remainder. So we'll be having that the greatest common divisor of 1529 and 14039 is 139.